All right, hey, Shalom, I'm again. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Racha, Akwadash. Give a double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught us this truth, that are constantly the will through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shalom. To my beloved brethren that are out there pushing this word wholeheartedly in truth and sincerity that are not wavering to the left nor to the right, but constantly stand on that straight and narrow fighting for your crowns in these last days that we are truly living in. Shall it warm to the few sisters, the Aquafs that are out there. Shall it warm also to the Israelite foreigners, those that may look like the other nations with their seed line. Goes back to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hardy shall it warm. This is the brother Iraq coming back with an lesson, local and edified. And feed the lambs of the Lord, okay, which Lord willing to make this lesson concise and straight to the point. I right, concern the prophecy because we definitely are living in the last days of the last days when Yahweh Bashim Abashai is sending forth judgment and these uh, tokens that the Lord is showing us, all right, is all for the faith of the believers that He has given faith in these last days, which are the Lord's elect, which are waiting on a return. Of whom, world, of whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is getting ready to send back his son to take down our enemies, which they're calling themselves today self-proclaimed white people, but they go back to the biblical Edomites. All right? And as the Most High sends back his son, Yahweh Shai, he's going to take down the Edomites alongside with the other nations that are ruling over his people and oppressing his people. Okay, so the Lord is sending forth judgments upon these other nations, and um, more judgments are going to continue to keep happening. Okay, as as prophecy is what being fulfilled. Okay, so with no further ado, I'm gonna start with Luke chapter twenty-one, verse twenty-five. It says, and right here in the title, it says the return of Hamashiach. Okay, it says, and there shall be signs in the sun. And in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring. OK, so right now the Lord is putting these other nations in a state of perplexity. OK, let's look up this word perplexity. Strong's G 640. Aparia. Aparia. Aparia, the state of one. Who is in perplexity? Let's go to the root word of that. Apareo. Strong's G six thirty nine. Apareo. 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 I right, to be without resources, to be in straight, to be left wanting, to be embarrassed, to be in doubt, not to know which way to turn. Okay, so let's watch this clip real fast. Hong Kong is experiencing apocalyptic floods. In just one hour, it rained six inches. That's the most since records began in 1884. Buses are flooding. The subways are flooding. And you could take boats down these streets because they're being turned into rivers. It's so bad that cars in the street are being forced to a total stop by the water. And so for now, follow to stay in the loop. Hong Kong is experiencing apocalyptic... All right, so you see the Lord is sending apocalyptic kind of rain out there, uh to Hong Kong, all right, which I believe Hong Kong is out there in China, all right, which the Chinese go back to the biblical Moabites, okay, all right, so the Lord is judging the heathen as, as we speak, okay, and not only is the Lord judging uh, Hong Kong, okay, the Lord is also judging uh, Libya, all right, let's get this real fast, and uh, the New York Times, it says more than 5,000 dead in Libya, as collapsed dam worsened floods disaster okay so they're reporting that five thousand people have died all right and ten thousand people are gone missing okay so it says in a catastrophe recalling hurricane katrina a heavy storm burst through dams to unleash their waters on the cities of derna sweeping away entire neighborhoods so the lord is sweeping away entire neighborhoods man this is the judgment and power of Yahweh by Shema Bashai, okay? Matter of fact, let's get another precept real fast before we continue in this article, okay? <clears throat> These ain't so-called uh, natural disasters. These are all done and orchestrated uh, by the Lord. You see what I'm saying? 
because the scriptures say that what the Lord's judgment goes forth every morning. All right. Let me get that real fast. <clears throat> this is uh, Zephaniah chapter three, verse five. It says the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So the Lord said his judgment go forth every morning. Okay. So when people, spirits go back to the heavenly father. All right. The Lord has sanctified there's uh, uh, the judgment to take place for the spirit to go back to the Lord. All right. Matter of fact. Let's go over here to Psalms chapter 68, verse 20. Psalm 68 and 20. It says, He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto the Most High, the Lord belongeth the issues from death. Okay, so look. When people die and their spirit goes back to the Heavenly Father, the one who issued them to depart from this world was whom you ignorantly call God. Okay, that's who did it. He takes people's souls and brings it right back to the spiritual realm, okay? And these judgments take place every single day, all right? So as of right now, the Lord is uh, flooding them, them, uh, them Hamites, man, all right? The Lord is flooding them heathens, okay? And them gooks, you know? <clears throat> and more judgments like these are going to continue to keep happening, all right? Because the Lord wants these things to be done so okay to show forth what his power on the planet earth let's go over here to the book of isaiah chapter 28 verse 2 isaiah 28 2 it says behold the lord have a mighty and strong one which is a tempest of hell and a destroying storm as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the hand you see so through the lord's power I, he sends forth mighty waters that drown people, man. And this is nothing new. I, because during the time of Noah, you had all wickedness going on throughout uh, the various parts of the earth where the sons of God were, the sons of men were, the sons of wicked were, okay? And the only righteous man, which was Noah at that time, was doing what prophesying to the sons of God speaking saying look the Lord's getting ready to send forth judgment for the wickedness that is going on and nobody believed Noah until the most high made it rain and the only ones that were saved was those eight souls so the most high is known for flooding people all right flooding people to death okay the God of the Bible all right he flooded the the, the whole world and this is where you get the term Pangea from, where the Lord broke up the continents because of he brought water from above and water from below. OK, that great pressure which broke up the, uh, the pieces of the continents that are spread apart as of today, <laughs> you know, a power to greatly be what feared. Man. You see what I'm saying? So that fear, the Lord is generating it back into the planet Earth again. OK. Be it away what these uh, so-called natural disasters. You see what I'm saying? So let's read into this right here. Matter of fact, let me go a quick little video. See what they got. There you go right there, you see? Let's go, let's go back out of this. All right, pause this real fast. All right, so it says, thousands of people have been killed after heavy rains flooded part of the country northeast. A disaster 
exacerbated by the collapse of two dams in the coastal city of Derna. It reads on, it says, more than 5,000 people were killed in Libya after torrential rains caused two dams to burst near the coastal city of Derna, destroying much of the city and carrying entire neighborhoods into the sea. Local authorities said on Tuesday, <laughs> like I said, into the sea, they about to be, uh, them Lib Libyans about to be shark food, <laughs> you know? It says, um, uh, local authorities said on Tuesday, Libya, a North African nation splintered by a war, was ill prepared for the storm called Daniel, right? Which, you know, Daniel goes back to the Hebrew word Daniela, okay, which uh, swept across the Mediterranean Sea to batter its coastline. So, hey, you never know. The, uh, the, the storm was called Daniel, and you never know. It could have been the, um, the actual Archangel Daniel, which, let go of those winds, <laughs> you know, as it's spoken of in the book of Revelation. Hey, you never know. It says Mediterranean Sea to batter its coastline. The country is administered by two rival governments, complicating rescues and aid effort. And despite its vast oil resources, its infrastructure had been poorly maintained after more than a decade of political chaos. All right. So, you know, you know, brothers could read more into this article. Lord willing, I post it into the uh, comment box or the, uh, the, the into the comment section below you know but this is what's going on as of late okay matter of fact i'm gonna get one more scripture I'm going over here to isaiah 29 and 6 it says thou shalt be visited the lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise with storms and tempests and the flame of devouring a fire you see so these places around the world are being visited by the lord the lord is visiting these places and he's going to continue to keep visiting these places all right as we get closer to the end so this is something i just want to report on through the holy spirit lord willing you have been edified giving all praises and glory to the hour by hashem yahweh shai by hashem akakadash double honors to the apostles and elizabeth millstone and salutations to the whole forms of the elect so with that i'm gonna say shalom